Today you've opened the package containing materials to do a crocheted and felted pouch. This pouch can be used to hold your phone, eyeglasses or anything else you'd like. In this video we'll explain step by step how to work your way through the crocheted pattern designed for us by Britta Gutling of Studio Britta on Etsy. Are you ready? We start with a slip knot and uh, the slip knot goes onto your crochet hook. For those of you who haven't crocheted before, we're going to start with a chain. You hold your yarn in your left hand any way you like. Uh, to make a chain stitch, you're just going to pinch the knot at the base of the uh, slip knot. Take your crochet hook and put it in front of the yarn. Um, catch the yarn on the hook and pull it through the loop on your hook. I find it helpful to continue to move, to pinch the stitch that I just created with my left hand and um, put a little press, upward pressure on my right hand to make that loop nice and big as I pull the yarn over through. Uh, we're going to make 18 chains so if you haven't done this before or if you've, you're not counting um, the way to count is to turn your chain so that the flat side is facing you. It's kind of a bumpy side and a flat side. I like to I like to count on the flat side and I'm just counting the little hearts or the chain across the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The yarn is coming out of the thirteenth chain for me and so I'll just continue to make five more. Okay. Once you have 18 chains, we're going to work um, an oval. Uh, so we're going to work on both sides of this chain. Uh, it says the instructions say to work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So you just look at where the yarn is coming out of your last stitch and you count one, two, three. I'm going to do a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. To do a half double crochet, you yarn over once insert your hook into the chain, yarn over again so that you have three yarn overs on your hook and then you yarn over one more time and draw it through all three loops on your hook. That's one half double crochet. And then we're going to work uh, one half double crochet in every chain, in every stitch along the chain until we get to the very last one. So I'm going to do that here again yarn over. Uh, look, look carefully at your stitches. So I've already worked in this stitch. I'm now going to work in the next one. So I insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over again so that I have three stitches on my hook, yarn over and draw through all three stitches. Find the next empty chain, stick my hook in, yarn over, stick my hook in, yarn over again and draw through all three. So I'm going to carry on doing that across the chain until I get to the last, the last loop, last stitch. I'm working through, so each um, crochet stitch in the chain stitch has and like three parts to it. So I'm putting my hook through two strands of yarn and leaving the third strand underneath. It doesn't matter if you work through one strand or two strands as long as you leave a strand for working through on the other side.
All right, I have one stitch left here to work in and the instructions now say to work two half double crochets in the last stitch and that my total count after that should be 17. So let's just do a count here and make sure that I'm not over or under. Here at the edge is my little, um, those little three chains that we didn't work. Um, so the first half double crochet is right, is right here. You can see there's a little, um, you can feel a little bump right there, um, but I can see that the, I can see the post of the half double crochet right here, and to the right of it is just some chain stitches. So I'm not counting those, just this one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and when I work two half double crochets in this space, I'll end up with seventeen, which is what the pattern calls for and that's great. So here's the 16th one or the first stitch. I'm just going to put another half double crochet in that same space. I'm just going to dip my hook in there a second time and draw through to create two half double crochets in the same space. Okay, now normally in crochet if we're working a flat piece we would turn and we're not. We're making an oval base so don't turn your work just pivot it. We're going to work along this side now and the instructions say to work one half double crochet in each chain along the other side to the last stitch. So I'm just going to work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's going to go in that last stitch there. I like to count ahead because I can um, sort of plan where my last stitch is going to go. So that tells me where I need to start. All right, so I'm going to put one half double crochet in here. Now you can leave the tail out or you can kind of bury it as you go along. I like to bury it, so that's what I'm going to do. In other words, I'm working over top of the tail as I go and that saves me a little bit of weaving in at the end of the project. So this is a good time to count. Three, break and draw out some more yarn. Crochet takes a lot of yarn. <laughs> so I was at 13, 14, 15, and when I get to 15 that's my cue that in the next space I'm going to put two half double crochets. So that's 16 and 17. All right. Uh, so the next instruction is to not join, uh, to double crochet in the first half double crochet of the previous round. So again, we looked at this closely when we were um, working on the previous round. So there's the, chain, the, the two chains and there's my first half double crochet. And at the very top of it, I'm going to work one double crochet in there. So to do a double crochet, yarn over on your hook just like for the half double crochet, insert it through the top of the um, half double crochet down below. I'm going through two, the, the, the chain at the top of that stitch, yarn over again, and this time instead of pulling through all three to do a double crochet, you yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. The instructions say to mark that stitch with a stitch marker, a locking stitch marker. So that's what I'm going to do. Just put the locking stitch marker in um, through the top of the stitch you just finished. And then it says uh, to double crochet in each half double crochet of the previous round. So this will be the first double crochet 
it's um, embedded in this stitch right here so I'm going to do my next double crochet right here and continue to work all the way around. Um, we're making the base of the pouch and so things are going to curl up on you that's okay. So again, if I lose count and I want to count to make sure that I've got 34 stitches all the time, you can go back to your marker. That's your first stitch. There's the second one, third one, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. I've done eight stitches so far. And I'm just counting the little hearts at the top of the chain. All right, so carry on working all the way around. And the stitch that I'm working into is the heart on the previous row, or the, the sort of chain stitch at the top of the row below. Oops, so there I started to put two in the same space and just got a little crowded in there, so I'm going to pull that one out and move over to the next space. All right, so we'll do one more count here. I'm in the last chain before my marked stitch. So I'm just gonna make sure I have 34 stitches. So starting with the one that's marked, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. This is 35, so I'm going to pull it out. All right, um, we're going to continue working around. The next stitch goes, the first stitch of the next round goes into the marked stitch. So I'm going to put my stitch in there. You can take the stitch marker out first if you want to, but I find there's usually enough room to work in there. Then I take it out and I move it up to the next round, putting it in the loop just behind my crochet hook, and I carry on. I think it's important to count your stitches for the first couple of rows or rounds because you don't want to end up with a pouch that gets one stitch bigger each round. But you don't have to count as you go. You can have a conversation or watch TV. <laughs> You just might have to count when you get close to your marker. All right, let's carry on with that for a bit. 
When we get to the top of the pouch, I'll show you how to make the flap. All right, so the next step is to continue working in the round until you have seven inches worth of sides or, um, or the number of rounds specified in the pattern, either uh, whichever comes first. So at this point now, we're going to finish off the body of the pouch. Um, we're going to take out the take out your stitch marker, and we're going to do um, two slip stitches into the next. We're going to do one slip stitch into the next two stitches. So to do a slip stitch, just insert your crochet hook into the next space, pull the yarn through, and through the loop on your hook. So again, into the the space bring the yarn through and pull it through your hook. And then you can cut your yarn, leave, uh, leave about a six inch tail, it's a good thing, and just pull that loop through. We'll weave that in afterwards. Now um, you may notice that your uh, where your stitch marker was, where it ended up, is not no longer at the side of your pouch. And that's because we've been working a spiral. So every time you go around, your stitch marker is going to move a little bit. Um, so that, that's fine. Uh, your stitches will still look straight. All right, so the next part here is to build the um, flap. And so start by taking your pouch and folding it flat. Put your stitch marker into the center of your pouch. I'm going to work the flap on this part right here because it's uneven. If I turn it over, you'll see there's a nice straight edge on this side. So I want to work on the uneven side and kind of uh, hide that little bit of slope that's there. So I need to find the middle of the flat part of my pouch. I'm going to just fold it in half like this and put my stitch marker through the center stitch on one side of the pouch. Um, and now we're going to rejoin the yarn <coughs> and begin to work the flap. Right, so the instructions say to begin with, um, to begin two stitches to the right of your marked stitch. So I'm going to count, here's one stitch, here's a second stitch, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to put my crochet hook through the center of, or under the edge of that stitch. And I'm going to, I'm going to take my yarn, it's just, I'm just holding the tail like this, I'm going to pull the loop, I'm going to pull a loop through like this. There's the tail right there. I can make that longer if I want to just by pulling on it. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through one more time as per the instructions. Now we're going to work six double crochets into the center stitch right here. So again, yarn over, insert your hook under the edge of the center stitch. And at this point I will remove my stitch marker again yarn over on the other side and pull that yarn over through and then uh, yarn over and pull through two loops and again through two loops. Let's do that again. That's one double crochet, two double crochets, Right, so I've created a nice little fan or shell that is the beginning of my flap. And then we're going to skip one stitch and slip stitch in the next three stitches. Okay, so skip one stitch means to skip one stitch right here. So whatever loop is next to the one that I was working in, I'm going to skip that one and I'm going to slip stitch in the next three uh, stitches. So to slip stitch you just stick your hook through, draw the yarn through, and through the one on your hook. There's two, there's three, and that's just to move a little further away from my shell. Um, the next round says, uh, it says to turn, so let's turn it. Just going to tuck that edge into the 
middle so it's out of the way. I'm going to do one double crochet in the next double crochet. So here's the last double crochet of the six double crochets that I'm working into the top of that. So you just do one double crochet in there. And then the instructions say two double crochets in the next one. So let's just work two double crochets in the next one. Okay, repeat. Okay, so I've um, repeated that to the end and then uh, I'm going to work one more double crochet in the next space. So right in here, I'm going to work one more double crochet. This one's loose, so I'm just going to pull on that tail there to tighten it up. And then I'm going to skip one and single crochet, or slip stitch, sorry, in the next three single crochet in the next three spaces. So skip one right here and then do a slip stitch. One, two, three, turn. All right, uh, now it says to do two double crochets into the next double crochet. So again, I'm going back to the last double crochet that I finished and I'm going to work two double crochets in the top of that space. I'm going to repeat that three times. Oops. All right, so I did two double crochets in the first space and then I repeated that three times for a total of one, two, three, four uh, double crochet, uh, four, two double crochets in each space. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, skip two spaces below. So there's one, and there's two, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, two double crochets in each space. Once, and then repeat three times. Okay, and then as before, skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next three spaces. All right, turn. Last round of the uh, flap is to work two double crochets in the next double crochet. So here's, again, here's the last one here. So I'm gonna work two double crochets in here. Then one double crochet in the next three double crochets. So one, two, three. Repeat one more time. So two, and 
and then three single double crochets. brings us up to the three the three chains we did on the previous rows and in the previous row in the instruction says three double crochets in the chain three space so you can dip your hook right into the space and work three double crochets one two three and then Britta has us do the same thing on the other side just in the opposite order so now we're going to do oops three single crochets in a row and then two double crochets in the next space three double crochets singly one two and three finishing with two double crochets in the last space here okay and then we're going to skip one stitch so there's the next stitch and slip stitch into this space okay cut your yarn Just take your loop and draw that through. And the crocheting is done. So weave in your ends, we'll do some felting, and you'll be ready for the embellishments.